planner friends it's Ashley welcome to my channel today we are getting my planner set up for January of 2021 we are gonna start here this is my catch-all planner all of my planner supplies are from the happy planner and I will have everything that I can link down below in the description box but this one's my catch-all planner so basically anything and everything kind of goes in this planner but usually it consists of like birthdays um, appointments for me my son my husband family stuff if we basically if we have anything to do it just kind of goes here which I did a little bit of pre-planning ahead of time and I have some sticky notes and that is seriously all that we have going on as of right now in January so not a whole lot to plan for in this planner but we are going to decorate it and make it look super cute and I went ahead and I pulled out a few different sticker books so I have this one this is the best year ever I pulled out the Teresa Collins book I have the celebrate book because we have a birthday and then I also have the color story so those are the ones I think I'm going to be using to get this spread all decked out ready to go for a new year and I also have a cup of coffee and y'all look okay I can't flip it back more because I'll dump coffee all over my planner but it says Ashley my son and my husband found me an Ashley mug for Christmas in Ray Dunn and I'm so pumped about it and it's black which is my favorite color so I'm so excited for this so I have my coffee I hope you have yours let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to start by taking these out of the planner all right so on the 9th my husband has a board meeting on the 13th, it's National Sticker Day, which it says right there, but I put the sticky note over it too so I wouldn't forget because I want to decorate something for that one. The 23rd is my son's birthday, so we need to decorate for that. The 18th is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and um, obviously the first is New Year's Day, so we'll be putting some stickers down for those things as well. So I'm going to start here. This is the Best Year Ever sticker book, and I've seen a couple of stickers back here I want to start with. This one here says happy birthday and it goes from gray to blues and it's really pretty and it has, but it has like the rose gold foiling up there. You can kind of see it. I'm not so sure that I like it. What I may do, let's do it this way. I'm going to cut the strip of gold off the bottom like so. And then we'll do it this way. Um, before I put that down, actually, let me get some balloons out of here. See, I thought about using like a cluster of these balloons, but they're kind of big for the monthly. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take this blue one here. Do something like this actually let's spin it the other way because I want to add a string to it and I don't want it to go behind this so we're gonna turn it just a little bit and then we'll do happy birthday right there and then I'll just take this and make a little string off of here. I'm also going to take some of these little stars and I'll stick those down too. These are really cute. You know what? I just... <laughs> realize there are some really cute balloons right here wow I cannot believe I didn't even see those I like those ones better than that giant blue one okay it's fine we're gonna take it up we're just gonna pretend like the string isn't there it'll just kind of go with these ones I guess it'll be fine yeah I like that one better those match everything and there's three balloons instead of one and then I'm gonna write Levi here but I'm not for sure 
if I want to try to write it myself or if I'm going to get some stickers. So I'm just going to leave it where it says happy birthday for now and I will figure that part out later. Now for the ninth, my husband has a board meeting and so what I was going to do with that one is put one of these box stickers out of here for it. And I was just going to use one of the black stickers. And I, I got some washi tape out too, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. I really like this white and black polka dot one. So let's see what it would look like with this black box sticker. Just to do a little bit of layering. I'm not used to also the weekends being colored. I like whenever my planner is super plain, but this one isn't too bad, so I don't mind it. But I'm not used to that, which is kind of a good thing actually, because it's going to help get me out of my comfort zone. See, I think that looks cute. Okay, so we will put that one there. I'm going to go ahead and write it in because if I don't, I'll forget why I put that there. And then over here on this sidebar, I found this sticker in the color story sticker book. It says, she's a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She does, or she sees possibility everywhere. It's got like paint splatters in it, which I thought was really cute. And I thought about putting that one over here. So we'll see how, how big it is. We might end up covering up the three. Actually, that'll work. Okay, so we're going to cover up the notes with some white out. Well, maybe. There we go. And then... That one is cute. And then let's work on New Year's really quickly. There's some... Uh, celebrates New Year stickers up here and I really like this one we're gonna cover up where it says New Year's Day <laughs> that's cute love it very pretty there's also a lot of these like star stickers. Do you see them in the silver foiling? I think those are really pretty too. So actually these ones up here have some black in them. I think I'm gonna take these and put those up there. Now if you take like a card, you can use a disc, you can use whatever you have. And if you go over the clear stickers, let me show you the difference if you can see it. I don't know if you can or not. I'm hoping you can, but here's where I went over it with a card and here's where I didn't. You might be able to tell the difference, but I always like to go over my clear stickers. It kind of takes the bubbling out and it makes it look like it was like printed on the planner. Just personal preference. So we have New Year's. And then I want a box sticker over here for planning out my son's birthday party. We will probably have it on the 23rd since it's on a Saturday. So that worked out really good this year. Okay, we'll just use this one. And then I thought about taking this sticker here that says hooray that might be too much black but we're gonna see what it looks like i'm like layering it so i can see this is where i'll kind of plan out just a little bit of, not really plan out what we need to do for his party but kind of remind me of what i need to plan for if that makes sense like a little mini brainstorm box here That kind of covered up the one on the seven, but it'll be fine. The one on the 17, I mean. And then I'll take some of those, some of these 
star stickers, star confetti. I'm gonna put some down here. Then I'm gonna take this other star confetti from this side. We're gonna put it over here. Off of January. Just make sure if you do this, you have the clear sticker down where you want it to go. Uh, Cause once you like, you know, really, really make this stick to the planner, it does not want to come off of there. Now this needs something color wise that might've been too much black over here. We have, this one which says this is your year to sparkle it's pink and silver might also be too many quotes but let's leave that one let's stick it here So for National Sticker Day, I was looking through my memory keeping sticker books and I already used the National Sticker Day sticker I had. So here's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to write, I want this to be a little bit bigger on here. So I'm going to write National Sticker Day on there a little bit bigger. And then if I like the way it turns out, we'll go over that with pen. Oopsie, already messed up. That's why I never start with pen. All right, that didn't turn out too bad, so I'm gonna go in with a Paper Mate Flare, and this is in medium, and I'm gonna go over that. Now I'm not gonna erase the pencil marks right now. I'm actually probably gonna wait a couple of days because for some reason, whenever you start going over where you put the paper mate flare, even if you wait like a few hours, it still wants to smear. So I like to just wait a couple of days just to be safe so I don't smear it everywhere. So it doesn't look the best where you can see all the pencil marks behind it, but that's okay for now. I'm gonna leave it. But I am gonna go in, I have um, the color story book now, and I found these really cute silver stars, and I'm gonna put some stars and some more of that confetti around it. I think the last thing I'm going to do is take some of that black and white polka dot washi and run it down the bottom.
All right, for now, that is going to be my spread. As things come up throughout this planner, I will be using this washi tape, and then I'm also going to do this. This is something I like doing inside of my planner to remind me of what sticker books I used. I will take this sticky note, I'm just gonna stick it over here to the side, and I will make a little note that says, use the, um, what's this one called? The Teresa Collins one, right? Yeah. And color story 461 and the best year ever. That way, whenever I go back in to add other things, like different things that pop up throughout the month that we're doing, I know what sticker books I used and it's easy for me to just grab them and then I can um, add in events that pop up. This will just come out during the end of the month or once I get to where I know like nothing's really kind of going to change, I'll just take this out then. So that's not really a big deal. Now, next up, we will be getting my January social media planner all set up and ready to go for the month. I've already done some pre-planning here, but I need to finish hashing out a few things and then I will film me setting this up and showing you guys my entire process for that. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.